Right now we're setting out a grid that's going to allow us to put our ground penetrating radar data in space and also make sure that we're collecting straight transects of GPR data. Uh, in the end, when we process all this data, we'll take all of the profiles, merge them together in a piece of software, and that allows us to create essentially a 3D model of what we're seeing in the ground. This is the first step because you really want to know where you're going to dig. And this allows us to lock what's under the ground that we can't see in geographic space and target that with, with excavations uh, quite accurately. And then for the areas we don't excavate, it allows us to kind of expand our interpretations out and understand things like how this city is organized spatially. So over the last few days, we've been pretty hard at it, collecting a lot of radar data across the city, and we've covered most of the citadel, including areas around it, both low and, and high. And so we're taking every line of radar data and trying to create this pseudo three-dimensional image of the city that we can then slice down through and look at different buildings at different depths. We're gonna be able to look at not only the organization of the city, but different orientations of different buildings that might suggest they were constructed at different points in time or have different purposes. Um, we'll then kind of walk around the site, try and look at how this is laid out on the ground, but also try and use this data to determine where we're going to dig next. But this is a big complex here. Now the question is, is where, we want, where we want to put our trench. So I like to think that uh, geophysical data lends both a foundation for how to start the project, but it also includes a lot more interpretive value down the road. We can map the site and de detect places that are really good for digging, but we can also use that excavation data and come back to the geophysical data and say, okay, if we found a wall here, then we know that all of these other signatures in the data are walls, and then use that as an interpretation to look at things like room sizes across the site, elite versus non-elite households, and things of that nature.